Hello, and thank you for tuning in with us today. Um, I'm really excited to be bringing you this month's Workforce Development Spotlight session from the Salesforce Talent Alliance team. If you guys are joining us for the first time today, um, just to let you know, we put these on every month to introduce Salesforce employers to different sources of new and diverse Salesforce talent through some amazing organizations that are training and supporting people to get roles in the Salesforce ecosystem. So if you missed last month's session where we had on Refugee Force and Tech Grounds, then not to worry, you can find the recording of that on our Salesforce Partners YouTube channel and we'll also be posting today's session on there as well. Uh, it's great to see so many of you tuning in. Please feel free to post any questions that you have for myself or for our guest speakers uh, in the comment section and we will get to those as we go through the session today. We have some wonderful speakers. We've got Tiffany and Darius from HBC UForce joining us. But before I introduce them, I did just want to take a few moments to tell you a bit about the Salesforce Talent Alliance program in case there's anyone who's unfamiliar of this program. So the Salesforce Talent Alliance invites Salesforce employers to grow with us um, and diversify the ecosystem. And we do that in three ways. So the first is through certifying new talent. So we're very much focused on how we can inspire the next generation of trailblazers and work with them and our workforce development organizations to get them trained up and certified so they're ready to land Salesforce roles in your organizations. The second pillar is gaining commitment from our employers. So as we're training this new talent, we want to make sure that our employers, our Salesforce partners and our customers are working with us to bring these new trailblazers into the ecosystem by giving them their first Salesforce roles. And then the final and third pillar is all about connections. So as we're training this new talent and we have commitment from our employers, we'll be providing opportunities for our employers and talent to connect and network with one another. So we're asking Salesforce employers to join the Talent Alliance and commit to the following three things. The first thing is hiring through inclusive hiring practices. So these are things like removing the bias in your job descriptions and ensuring that you have fair and equitable hiring processes. The next commitment is that we're asking that 20% of your annual Salesforce hiring are people that are new to the ecosystem and have less than six months of paid Salesforce experience. So this could be a recent grad, it could be someone who's looking to change careers, and it could also be someone who you've reskilled internally from a different department. The next commitment is about opening up two new resources of great talent to you. And so where there's location alignment, we ask employers to provide automatic interviews to certified individuals that have trained and graduated from our Salesforce military and Pathfinder programs. And being a Talent Alliance employer means that we'll support you with things like vouchers for Salesforce certification exams, opportunities to market with us, bonus points as part of the Salesforce partner program, and of course, opportunities to connect with these amazing new trailblazers through things like a private LinkedIn group, career fairs, and of course, our workforce development partners. So if the Salesforce Talent Alliance sounds like something you'd like to get involved with, then you can find more information and a link to sign up on our website, which can be found at sfdc.co slash TA Talent Alliance. It's up there on the screen. And if you have any questions, of course, you can reach out to our team, talentalliance at salesforce.com. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the key aspects of the Talent Alliance is our partnership with organizations that are supporting people, often from underrepresented communities, with training and mentorship and helping them to find great jobs in growing ecosystems like ours. And HBC UForce is one of those companies. Uh, they are a nonprofit organization in the US that partners with historically black colleges and universities to implement programs that provide access to computing, cloud computing careers. So now I would like to introduce Tiffany Spencer, who is the founder of HBCU Force, and Darius Woodson, who is a HBCU Force intern. <laughs> Welcome, Tiffany and Darius. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Hello, thanks for having me. Yeah, great. I'm so glad that you can join us. Um, before we get into hearing about HBCU Force and, and your journeys, 
Um, in, in true LinkedIn lifestyle, we like to kick off these sessions with an icebreaker question. So I wanted to ask you guys, and everybody watching, feel free to put your um, answers to this question in the chat comments as well. Um, but when you were little, what did you guys want to be when you grew up? <laughs> so actually, when I was little, I wanted to be a teacher. Hmm. Uh, I would say when I was little, I wanted to be a comedian. I always wanted to be on the spotlight in the stage one day, so. I love that. Um, Tiffany, you basically are a teacher. And Darius, you can definitely still be a comedian. Um, and you've both trumped me because, as you know, I wanted to be a flying pony when I was, <laughs> when I was little, <laughs> which I don't think is going to happen. Um, but great, thank you for that. Um, and so, Tiffany, can you start by introducing yourself um, and a bit about your background? Sure. Um, so I'm Tiffany Spencer, founder of HBCU Force and partner uh, and COO at ESOR Consulting Group. ESOR is a minority-owned, Black-owned Salesforce implementation partner that serves educational institutions, nonprofits, and small businesses. I am a proud graduate of Bethune-Cookman University and HBCU that uh, was founded by Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune in Daytona Beach, Florida. I have over 13 years of experience in the Salesforce ecosystem. I'm currently a Salesforce MVP um, and seven times certified professional. Oh, and also co-leader of the Orlando Salesforce user group. Wowie, um, that is really quite the CV, Tiffany. It's very impressive. Darius, do you wanna um, tell us a bit about you? Yes, um, greetings. My name is Darius Woodson. I'm a business administration major from the Great Bethune Cook University, a graduating senior, and I'm an HBCU Force intern. Um, I first heard about HBCU Force through a class I took last semester with Ms. Spencer. Um, she prepared us to obtain our business administration specialist super badge while also talking to us about the benefits of Salesforce and introduced us to job opportunities as well within Salesforce. That is very cool. We are in very good company today. Um, Tiffany, can you start by telling us a bit about um, HBCU Force and when you founded it uh, and what the company looks like? Um, and a reminder, everyone watching at home, please pop your questions for Tiffany and Darius in the um, comments section as well. Thank you. Sure. So as you mentioned, um, HBCU Force is a nonprofit organization that partners with historically black colleges and universities, um, as well as uh, other MSIs and organizations to implement programs that provide early access and exposure to cloud computing careers. HBCU Force was started in 2019 after I was spending some time with some computer science students at Bethune-Cookman. And speaking with those students and inquiring about their future career paths, I realized that the students were not familiar with Salesforce or even careers in consulting. Um, so I kind of bribed a few students with pizza and worked with them over the summer to help them earn their BA super badge. Um, and then I reached out to Coastal Cloud. Um, it's so about 45 minutes from their campus and they actually invited my students over to visit their offices and they did a half day presentation uh, with those students about their company, about careers as a consultant. They even did a demo for them. Um, and that was extremely valuable to students because it brought to life what I'd been sharing with them and the information that they were learning on Trailhead. Um, and so that's how HBCU Force started. I love that. I love that you bribe students with pizza. What better <laughs> way? <laughs> yeah. Um, and that is just such a cool way to start an organization. And I know from experience that you are such an inspiration to so many people. So um, thank you for everything you're doing. Can you explain a bit about the um, programs that you run, the Salesforce programs that you run um, at HBCU Force? Sure. 
So the HBC for student journey um, starts with exposing the students to Salesforce and CRM. So I uh, work with the universities to create curriculum. Um, it's usually inside of a semester long course. And so throughout the 16 weeks, students are exposed to Salesforce. Um, they are doing trails inside of Trailhead. Um, and at the end of the semester, they normally either do a super badge or they are preparing to take the a certification. The second part of the student journey uh, is to empower the students. And so uh, we help to um, do some certification study prep and prepare students to take a Salesforce certification. Um, and we provide vouchers to those students. The third part of the student journey is experience. And once students pass the exam, uh, they we help to place them in internships. Uh, one of the places that they go, of course, is ESOR, uh, where, but we can't hire all the students. I think currently we are working with about, there are about 60 students today across three schools that are being exposed just this semester um, to Salesforce. And so those students need internships so that they can have hands-on experience to put on their resume. And that is actually where partners like you come into place. Um, after those students have gained some experience, uh, specifically, we like to expose them to doing a project and going through a whole project life cycle. Um, after they have that hands-on experience, the last part of their student journey is employment. We work with the students to um, um, update their resume, add their newly gained Salesforce skills to their resume, and we work to get them employed with one of the amazing partners um, in the partner ecosystem. And so we are currently working with partners like ATG and at Victorium who have been very supportive of um, HBCU fours and working to get those students inside of a talent pipeline journey. Uh, we've also had some great partners from Cap Gemini, Deloitte, and Lev reach out to um, to figure out how we can uh, create those connections there. And so it's extremely valuable this entire journey to not only get students exposed but to get them experienced so that they're more valuable for partners like you. I love that you've got work experience embedded into your training program because we know that that is just so important. Um, and Darius, you are one of the students that's been on this journey with HBCU Force. So tell us what's your journey been like with HBCU Force and with Salesforce so far? Um, it has been a new journey for me. Last semester, I caught on to Salesforce pretty quickly in my class. I remember Ms. Messer always telling me to make sure I grasp their understanding of the modules and actually read it through and slowly. Um, you know, and then as an intern this year, I assist in leading the Salesforce class by providing mentorship and support to the students, as well as communicate with the students and teachers throughout the course. That's very cool. Um, love that you've become a mentor as well. Um, what are the skills do you think that you've gained um, during your time working with HBCU Force and Tiffany? Um, one of them I can say is critical thinking skills. They help me think outside the box, working with the modules in Trailhead, leading the Salesforce class. Um, it pretty much helped me with my growth and self-development. Um, leadership, I would say, because I lead the Salesforce training class at Bethune-Cookman University to obtain their business administration specialist super badge. And then lastly, communication skills, because I speak with the teachers and the students throughout the course. That is very cool. Clearly see that you've learned a great deal from, from Tiffany and her team. So that's awesome. Um, and would you say Tiffany makes a good teacher, uh, Darius, given that's what she wanted to be when she grew up? <laughs> oh, out of this world, a definitely good teacher. <laughs> Thank you. I tell people I volunteer. <laughs> yeah, I think you've achieved your dream, Tiffany. Um, <laughs> Tiffany, what does what makes HBCU Force um, what makes your program different and, and unique? Would you say? So I think there's a few things that make our program unique. One is that we focus not only on um, educating the students on the Salesforce platform uh, and the usage of how companies are using applications like Salesforce, but we 
place great emphasis on getting those students hands on experience to put onto their resume. Um, our goal is to identify students in their sophomore and junior years so that they can obtain a certification um, and then have at least a year to two years of experience on their resume so that their senior year when they graduate, they're graduating with a certification and at least a year of experience, which makes them very valuable to consulting partners that are looking for talent that has gone through a full cycle implementation, understands how to run discovery sessions, um, how to write user stories, how to interact with clients, and um, what's expected of them inside of a consulting role. Love that. Um, and how can employers get in touch with you? How do they typically work with you, Tiffany? Um, if they're interested in working with you or hiring a HBCU force grad, how do they go about that? Yes, yeah, so there are three amazing ways for partners to get involved. So the first is to volunteer. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers to co-teach a class. Uh, inside of our classes throughout the semester, we have several career sessions. And so employers can sign up to, um, to present their company and their career opportunities. Uh, you can also have employees from your company participate in resume reviews um, so that students understand what you're looking for on resumes and what skills are important to you. The second way to get involved is, of course, to provide opportunities. Those are extremely valuable. We like to, um, to offer paid internship opportunities to our students. Um, and so if you have internships, uh, we would love for you to share that with us so that we could pass that on to the students. It helps to keep them motivated when they know that there's great opportunities at the end of the, um, of the process. Uh, we would love for you to share employment opportunities um, and actually have direct connections to talent. Um, I think there's, you know, on one end, you can, of course, have a sen send in, um, you know, our students apply on your website for internships, but it's actually better um, for us to have a direct connection to your recruiters and your talent um, uh, resources so that we can coach these students so we understand where they may need to um, tighten up and what areas we can help them improve on so that they are not only um, applying for jobs, but they are obtaining jobs. And the third way and one of the most important ways is, of course, to become a sponsor. Um, HBCU Force is a nonprofit. Your sponsorships help to um, pay for our trainers. They help with any swag that we give the students and of course help with any operational items um, as well as internship payment for our student co-teachers um, like Darius. Amazing, thank you, Tiffany. I'm sure there'll be lots of people reaching out to you today, hopefully. Um, we have a couple of questions that's coming from the audience, both for you, Tiffany. The first one is, what motivates you to do your amazing work? I love that question. There are so many amazing trailblazers across the ecosystem, and I know um, the opportunities that and the experiences I've had over my 13 years in this ecosystem. And I wanted to make sure that HBCU students were aware of this ecosystem and the opportunities. Um, and that's what keeps me going. Um, generational wealth and being able to help minority students, black students to increase their household income, technology jobs can do that. And so the ability to take those students to put them into high paying um, above average paid salaries and put them on career paths is extremely important. And I think just a little, a small um, service that I can provide um, to help students you know, on that path. You are amazing. Um, and there is another question for you. What's been the most rewarding part of founding HBCU Force? So the most rewarding part is, of course, having students once they have, you know, gone through the course and they're at the end and then they realize, so I'm, I'm, I can get paid to do this. <laughs> because sometimes it doesn't feel real to the students. To be honest, the students are very much, they can, you know, they go through the trails, they're 
completing the assignments. And I think it sometimes it doesn't click that, you know, some of us do this for a living. And so being able to open their eyes to the career path. Um, but my most uh, proud moment is gonna come in a few months when my very first student, Ryan Williams, graduates. And um, he's also a graduating senior. He started with me as a sophomore. He's currently certified um, and has been interning for the past uh, two years, actually. And so when he gets his very nice uh, graduate degree and he gets his very first offer, that's going to be my proudest moment. And then when Darius gets his, that'll be my second. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, which I'm sure will happen very soon. Um, Darius, as a question for you, what are you most looking forward to in your career? What am I looking most forward to? I would say a positive, um, I would say a positive career. Um, I like I want to work with people that are, you know, uplifting and, you know, that share their experiences with each other. And, you know, so I can work, you know, like this Miss Tiffany said, with generational wealth. And this is a lot that, you know, I would rather work with somebody that would help the world rather than, you know. Love that. You want to follow in Tiffany's footsteps, that sounds like. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what's next for you, um, Darius? What are you working towards now? Um, I'm working to get my administrator credentials and becoming a certified um, Salesforce administrator. Um, after that, I will be working with Ms. Spencer to get an internship um, as a junior administrator working on hands-on projects. And then upon that, after graduating, I hope to get a career in Salesforce as an administrator. Awesome, which I'm sure you will. Um, and so exciting, I'm so excited for um, your journey. Um, there's a couple of other questions. Um, Tiffany, can, can people work with HBCU Force if they're located outside of the United States? Um, work with like intern? So I think specifically HBCU force. Yes, there are. Um, if you're a partner and you're not U.S. based, there are opportunities to, of course, virtually assist because we're all virtual, unfortunately. Um, and then, of course, there are volunteer opportunities virtually as well. Um, and then uh, so hopefully that's what you're asking. Yeah. Cool. And just um, remind us, Tiffany, where can people get in touch with you if they are interested in getting involved? Yes. So you can email me at Tiffany, T-I-F-F-A-N-Y, at hbcuforce.org, or you can visit our website at www.hbcuforce.org, and there is a contact us form there. Awesome. Thank you so much. I think that is about all we have time for in terms of questions. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining today. Um, Tiffany, you are just an inspiration. And Darius, I'm so excited um, for the rest of the journey that you have ahead of you. Um, so wish you all the best luck. Um, before we close up today, um, of course, if there's any Salesforce employers that are watching and based in the US um, or even outside of the US and you want to find out more about HBCU Force, I really do encourage you to reach out to Tiffany through the links that she just mentioned. Um, and for all of our employers, no matter where you are in the world, if you were inspired by today's guests and wondering how you could engage with students in your local areas, we've put together a higher education guide which provides ideas and guidance for different programs based on your level of interest and engagement. So from low touch networking all the way through to teaching a Salesforce class at your local school or university. So you can access this guide at sfdc.co slash higher ed guide. And with that, I will say thank you very much for joining us today. And I look forward to seeing you again next month. Thanks everyone.